Burkina Faso. But at the same time... Wasim Nasr, the France 24 journalist, whose interview with the head of a regional Al-Qaeda affiliate earlier this month resulted in Burkina Faso suspending the broadcaster, says the move is part of an ongoing effort to control the flow of information in the country. And when we speak to Burkina Bay journalists or human rights activists, uh, or social uh, or civil society uh, activists, they all feel uh, that uh, banning free press is uh, is uh, happening today, bits by bits, and they are very scared uh, of speaking out about things that are happening and what's going wrong uh, in the country. Burkina Faso's military government suspended the international broadcaster after it had aired an excerpt of the interview saying it amounted to acting as a mouthpiece for the terror group. VOA reached out to Burkina Bay authorities for further comment, but has not heard back. Press freedom organizations have criticized the suspension. Some say the climate for journalists in Burkina Faso is tense, but so is the state of the country. With this axe that fell on France 24, it is also a warning shot for the local press, for the national press. That must be a bit careful, because in the background, it is based on how to treat information in times of war, how it should be treated. Nasr said the interview with Yazid Mubarak, the head of Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, or AQYM, was nearly a year in the making. He sent Mubarak 17 recorded questions, and Mubarak, also known as Abu Abadi Yusuf al-Nabi, responded with voiced answers. Nasr said that France 24 played only 20 seconds of the audio to establish its authenticity and that he was careful in his reporting. I analyzed what he said. I uh, picked out the, the interesting uh, informational parts of what he said. I contextualized it and even contradicted him on uh, on many issues. When Mubarak said AQYM was not responsible for the June 2021 massacre in Solan, Burkina Faso, that killed at least 138 people, Nasr said his sources indicated it was indeed a unit of AQYM that was undisciplined. I said on screen that uh, he was wrong, that they are responsible, despite the fact that uh, he, he denied it. Nash said such interviews help viewers understand the ideology and tactics of AQIM. The latest suspension of France 24 follows the government's suspension of French radio broadcaster Radio France Internationale in December for its reporting on terror attacks and has increased concern over the state of press freedom in Burkina Faso. Salem Solomon, VOA News.